In this video, I'll show you how to install Manim if you're using Windows. It might look a little scary because we're going to use the PowerShell, which is this mysterious thing that hackers use, but don't worry, we'll do it step by step and you'll be able to start creating animations with Manim in no time. First thing here, I'm googling how to install Manim on Windows and I'm going to use this guide here by the Manim community so that you can follow along with me. Now it says here that the easiest way to install Manim and its dependencies is by using a package manager like Chocolately or Scoop. So let's install Chocolately first. I'll click on it which will take me to its page and here it says that I need to do it with PowerShell. So I'm going to search for PowerShell inside of my Windows and then run it as administrator because it says that I have to run it as administrator. Next up it says I need to run get execution policy. So I'm going to copy that and put it into my PowerShell and click enter. And if it returns restricted then run this command or that command. For me it returned bypass which means that I don't have to type this in or this in. Next let's run the following command. I'm going to click here to copy and then paste it into my PowerShell and click enter. And after a bit of time it says here that chocolately is ready. Next I'm going back to the Manim installation guide and I'm going to see what the next steps are. And this is good news, Manim can be installed via chocolately by simply running choco install Manim. So I'm going to copy that and put it in my PowerShell and click enter once again. Right here when it stopped I pressed the letter Y on my keyboard which just basically means yes and that it can proceed further. Here it says do you want to run the script Y yes or A all. I'm going to put in the capital letter A because I want to install all the scripts and then after I click enter it continues again and it's done. Now it says please reboot at your earliest convenience so I'll do that. Now that my PC restarted, everything is installed. We'll now want to install VS Code, which is basically a program that will let us write and edit code. I'll type in VS Code into Google, then click on the first link and then press download for Windows. Once I save it, I'm going to open what I just downloaded and it's going to open the installer for VS Code. I'm going to accept the license agreement after thoroughly reading through it. Then I'm going to click next, next again. And here I don't have to change anything and just click next. And finally install. It will do its magic and VS Code will be installed on your computer. We can leave the launch Visual Studio Code checked and click finish. And we're in. Now in order to start writing Manim code, we're going to need to install a few extensions within VS Code. You can basically install extensions into it just like inside your browser to add some bonus features. And there are three that we want. So to get to extensions, click on this four square icon on the left and then type in Python. That's the first extension that we want. If it shows up here already under popular, you can just click install here without searching. The second one we'll need is called PyLance. It's also under popular extension but if you don't see it you can just search for it. And the final one we need is called Manim Side View. This one is going to allow you to see the animations that you create with Manim within Visual Studio Code without actually having to find the animation file every single time. So search for that and install. And that's it. Well, just kidding, it's not it. There's one bonus thing that we can install alongside Manim that will make it easier to work with animations that have text. So I'm back here inside of the installation guide and I want to install Latex. And it recommends that we use this command since we already installed the Chocolately package manager. I'm going to copy this, go back into the Windows shell as administrator and paste it in. Again, when it says, do you want to run the script? I'm going to put in capital A and press enter to let it install everything that it wants to install and everything is done. To make sure everything works I went into VS Code and wrote some code for a basic animation. We'll walk through how to do everything later and I noticed that Manim works. Great news. But then I tested out this bonus thing that we just installed called Latex and it seemed not to load the animation and gave me an error saying Latex failed but did not produce a log file. Check your Latex installation. So I used the other command provided in the installation instructions to install it again. This time it seemed to have been installed but gave me yet another error saying latex error converting to DVI. See log output above or the log file. So I spent around 40 minutes searching and found someone on Reddit who managed to painstakingly solve this error themselves. And luckily they provided a command that solves it. So I opened the PowerShell and pasted it in. I'll leave the code in the description. And afterwards the error was resolved and now I have a good installation of Manim that I can start creating 
creating animations with. So if you're getting the same error as me, you can paste in this code inside of your PowerShell and it will get rid of it, thanks to this Redditor once again. So this was how to install Manim on Windows. Now since you're installing it, chances are that you probably want to learn Manim. And I've made a course about it. Since when I was learning Manim, I found that there are not that many tutorials or documentation out there that's easy to understand for complete beginners that know barely nothing about coding. So I decided to put everything I learned about Manim into a single starter pack that I hope will give you all the skills that would allow you to start writing code and experiment with it yourself to create stunning animations. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you're interested.